In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a RFM dashboard in Google Data Studio. But before we start, let me quickly explain you what RFM means. It is a segmentation strategy that helps to analyze and split customers based on three variables, recency, frequency, and monitor. And recency is how long since a customer bought something from you, frequency how often customers buy from you, and monetary value is the total value of the purchases. RFM divides our database into segments and each segment assign a particular number from 1 to 3 can be or it also can be from 1 to 5 depends how big your customer base and based on segments we can assign some characteristics for them like champions, loyal customers, uh, promising and so on and according to these segments we can main some strategy. So before we jump into Data Studio, let me show you my data set. It is in Google Spreadsheet. I have order level data based on my customers. I need to make uh, from order level data group uh, my orders into customer level. And uh, I can do it by using pivot table. And here is how I group my data set by customer ID. And uh, for values, I count the number of transactions per customer, uh, summarized by maximum date, it means the most recent date, and uh, revenue, I uh, take some of the revenue. In Data Studio, I go to Add to Data, Google Spreadsheet, and connect my spreadsheet. First of all, I've created a table. And uh, in this table, some metrics are um, default one, but some are calculated. The default metric is customer ID from my data set, last order date, and uh, also count of transactions and some uh, of revenue. The, the first metric that I have calculated is days since last order. I click here and let me show you how it's calculated. I'm using date difference to a formula and um, today minus my maximum maximum order date. Uh, then uh, I need to divide my customer base into segments by recency, uh, frequency and monetary and I'll be using percentile formula to do it and to divide by 33 percentile and 66 percentile. Here you see above the table uh, my percentiles and let me show you formula for frequency 33 percent i'm using percentile counting of transactions id and 33 uh, very similar formula for uh, this 66 percentile so what it means for instance for uh, the frequency we divided by three segments of our database uh, those who bought only once those who bought between two and three and those who bought um, more than three times. For monitor, it's uh, orders less than 145, between 145 and 247, and um, uh, 247 plus. Then based on our uh, values, I calculate its scores, error score. My data set slightly outdated, that's why you see such a big numbers for days since last uh, purchase. Mm. So what I need to do is update my field and uh, input my error scores uh, 621 and here 641. It means if a uh, number less than, uh, is less than 621 days, we assign three. If um, numbers lower than uh, 641, we assign two. Everything else will be one. The same uh, is true for frequency and monitor. Let me show you real quick the frequency score, how it's calculated with see formula. You can pause this video and check. And uh, the monetary value. It's calculated this way. Then I, what I do with all these numbers is to calculate RFM segment. RFM segment, it is also a calculated metric. I use in concat formula to, to concat three scores, recency, frequency, and monetary, and display it as, as numbers using cast formula. Uh, that's how this number shows up here. And then, um, I join uh, my data by RFM scores with my Google spreadsheet. I have segments 
and uh, here's two values RFM score and customer segment name I've joined these two tables by RFM score I have uh, show uh, my customer segment name uh, also for RFM good chart to represent uh, our FM scores is uh, three map you can click uh, add chart and add this three map and uh, display your customer segment and uh, revenue generated by this uh, segment also you can use bar chart as an alternative to see uh, the number of revenue for each segment i hope this video was useful if you have any question you can leave in the comments below if you're an e-commerce brand and want to build a modern data infrastructure for your store then check my guide below